was gorgeous. Yeah. Let it rain on Monday because we're back at work. All right, thanks a lot, Shelby. Well, as more people are getting vaccinated, medical experts in the United Kingdom and the United States are holding trials to figure out whether it makes sense to give people doses of two different COVID vaccines. Well, that wasn't the way the vaccines were designed. And at this point, the CDC says that the Moderna and also Pfizer vaccines are not interchangeable and there may be reasons not to blend the vaccine. Still, it's an interesting concept. And uh, we're here with Dr. Eric Riggs and, you know, before this even happened, a few people, Doc, said, you know, well, what if I get Moderna and then I get Pfizer? What's the difference in these vaccines? So first of all, let's talk about the difference or similarities. Mm -hmm. And then why shouldn't we or why, if it's not available, can't we get maybe the opposite vaccine? Well, it's a great question. Well, the way that these vaccines work, the Pfizer, specifically Pfizer and Moderna, it's a two shot regimen, right? So the first one acts as a primer and the second one acts as a booster. They're both uh, mRNA technology, but they both work a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. uh, and for that reason, we really want, if you start with one, we want you to finish with the other because that's the way the studies were done. Well, now there's enough time uh, has elapsed right. uh, that they're starting to do studies and they're noticing uh, so far that mixing of of the, the vaccines might cause an increase in the side effects. So it's only in extreme conditions that you might want to consider that. So the primer and the booster, when I got my shots, mm -hmm. it's the same exact serum, but the first one is the primer to get the, the, the you know, the, the, the body going in terms of fighting it. And the second one is the actual booster. Now that really brings up those antibodies, but it's the same vaccine, right? It's the exact same vaccine. And you know, I love talking about this, right? So it's the, the first one is when you prime your immune system uh, to the virus, uh, okay. the spikes, the, your body, you get the injection, it makes it, you start making the spikes right. and your immune system gets conditioned to recognize the spikes. The second time is like practicing for a game all week right. and the team's ready. You inject that booster shot and they're like, yes, and they just, that's why you get the side effects. The side effects because your body is primed and ready because it identifies the spikes, your immune system, it's ready to attack and you feel more side effects that way. So Pfizer Moderna, that's Pfizer Primer Moderna. Booster, mm -hmm. comes down to if these were developed for, as you mentioned, the primer, let's get the body revved, mm -hmm. then the booster, let's get those immunities up. But if you do get, say, a Pfizer, then a Moderna, is it not going to mesh in terms of giving you the actual protection that, that, that we want? Well, because the reason why, one of the theories why it could be raise your side effect profile is because what you're, it creates a different, it's the fats and the proteins that the, uh, that the, the vaccines are in, in, wrapped in mm -hmm. are a little bit different. Okay. And your body identifies those differences can, as foreign or antigen, and there's a different antibody response. Right. So again, your immune system reacting, here I am reacting to what I think, this is really similar, but there's something different. Right. So let's raise his temperature, let's make him sweat a little bit more let's make him get the ch 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 chills sure, sure, a little sure. bit more yeah sure. so so there's it's still a lot that's being researched but it's it's for, for right now if you start with one you want to stick with it and those side effects when you do get that that means your body is reacting to it now here's something of uh we said we're not going to throw curveballs here right. but i'm going to throw kind of a semi curveball <laughs> johnson and johnson one shot mm -hmm. What if somebody says, you know, I got the Johnson & Johnson, but maybe if I get just one of the others with Johnson & Johnson, maybe that'll even give me more immunity. Where does Johnson & Johnson being a one shot fall into Pfizer and Moderna? So now you're looking at the prospects of booster shots that okay. we're talking that we might all need to have. And there's that question of if I, if I got the Johnson & Johnson and say come December, I have to get a booster shot, should I get the Johnson & Johnson? And the answer is, drum roll, I don't know yet. Yeah, yeah okay. we don't know. <laughs> so at this point, I would say we have about five seconds mm -hmm. left. Stick with what you're getting. Get the Pfizer, get both. Moderna, get both, or J&J, &J, and we'll learn as we go. Yep, we'll learn about boosters as we go. Perfect. All right, good stuff there. All right, kind of answer questions for me because a lot of people have been saying, what if I, what if I, what if I, right now, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing the same thing. Perfect. All right, <laughs> thanks, Doc.